Hello, good morning, and welcome to my channel. I have uh, just woken up. Yeah. It's nearly 1 p.m. here. I did night shift last night, and then the postman rudely woke me up an hour ago with some very exciting deliveries. I tried to go back to sleep, but I just couldn't. I needed to open them, and I need to open them now. So I'm going to put these into two different ones. We're going to start off with the Colourpop bag because I feel like that's the most boring. And then I'm going to do, I also bought some stuff from the Australis with their 50% off sale over the weekend to test out. And then, what am I doing? And then the Beautylish Lucky Bag. It's also come to my attention that I have a um, mystery bag problem. So there's <laughs> still going to be a few more of these coming up. So the Colourpop one, I did order other stuff to make it free shipping. So the Colourpop mystery bag, I ordered that on the 22nd and it was shipped to me on the 23rd of the 1st. It's the 31st right now. I feel like Colourpop have really been slaying the delivery times to Australia. Seven, seven business days. This took like a week, but I've just been wanting it. I've been watching all the videos about it. So I think I already know what's in there. But I did order some other stuff, so that could add to some excitement. And look, like, just how ginormous this box is. Alright, I've got a little card about the mascara, which we all know is in there now. New year, new colour pop. Very exciting. All right, so oh, I told some suspense. I'm going to go through the stuff I did buy. If you remember in my recent video about YouTube goals, I talked about not buying any more cream products. I managed to convince myself to buy a cream product. Um, I bought Houdini from the Jelly Much range. And now I've decided I don't <laughs> need any more. And this is actually a lot pinker than I thought. But I've just seen Angelica Nyquist talking about these quite a bit and it made me quite curious. And I thought, look, I'm going to get this and then no more creams. Definitely no more creams, I hope. Uh, but one of my lovely subscribers did say to do a wear test on all my cream shadows. So I thought, hey, I'm more than happy. Let's do that. Oh, so I'm very excited for this. I got some of the new formula Lux lips. I do have the other ones. Yes, so the Velvet Blur lips. So I've got Sorry Not Sorry. And Cream Fresh. Oh, well, these are some fun colours. I'm keen to give these a whirl, see how they go. And I bought... And these are the Ooh La La. I'm easily, easily influenced by anyone. <laughs> Um, but I know for sure I bought this because I was watching Angelica Nyquist's uh, Will I Buy It video. And I was like... And she was saying that she would buy this palette if she wasn't on a low buy. And I was like, oh, if she says she'd buy it, I should buy it too. And I was also curious about this new packaging. So that it's my pleasure. More. I'm looking forward to playing with this. And just for, if anyone is curious, so this is comparing to the Colourpop other palettes that they have. So the 9 pan to the 12 pan like Zodiac. The mirror is good. I recommend. Alright. On to the next. The Colourpop Mystery Bag. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have really had a much sleep. So comparing it to the size of my Zodiac palette. Yay. I feel like I know what's in it. I did a watch of Nets Colourpop video. Exciting. And let's see what we got. Oh, a very shiny package. The highlight of my life. I actually don't have any highlight on right now. What was it called? Pinch me. Oh. It's like a it feels more sticky than the other ones I own. I think this watch and it's just this one here. Yeah. 
We have Ziggy Matt Z, all of these sticks. I do have a few of these. I don't think I have this color. Ooh, very bold. We've got Doozy. I think this is the is this the blotted lip, the ultra bold. So Annette tried these ones on. I actually love this formula. It's one of my faves. And I've gotten lots of compliments on this one before. So this is a doozy down here. And it's just a very nice, it's very nice. Ah, the mascara. Now I, I was very excited to see this. So I got the black on black. I'm curious to try. So the brush is a bit reminiscent of, it reminds me sort of more of the better than sex brush. I don't know. It's interesting. I can give it a try. Should I put some more on now? I do have some on now, but uh, let's put more on. Hmm. Ah. I'm keen to try it when my mascara isn't so stuck down. Seems promising, but yeah, who knows? What's this? I just got like one random single shadow snake eyes. <laughs> so snake eyes. I mean, that's pretty. No one can complain about that. We've got Champagne Miami Ultra Glossy Lip. I actually don't think I've tried the glossy lips. I'm excited for this. We should put it on, hey? Ooh. What's going on with the doe foot? Where is it? I just got a stick. I think the doe foot fell off. Oh, no, that's a brush. Nice smell, pleasant, you know. Hmm. It's a gloss. I got another one of the Lux lips, and this is the color Lucky Stripe. The bottom one here. Hmm. I think they'll look quite nice. These are all just very wearable colors. Super shock. So this is Sequon. Sorry, my ability to talk normally is uh, going out the window. This is what Super Shocks feel like to me. The other one's a bit sticky and I'm a bit confused by it. Yeah, Sequin. Very pretty. It's just like a basic brown. Basic shiny brown. Another one. Party of five. Now I'm pretty sure I mostly got a lot of the stuff that Annette got. So it was no surprise. So this is party of five. And just this one here. There was no real standout surprises in here. I'm excited to have the mascara. If I'd ordered it myself, I would have colored ones, but it's tough to know how it's gonna go. And I think I'm happier to just wait for some more reviews and see what people do do with the mascara. Uh, and overall, I'm reasonably happy with what I got. It's a good variety of stuff. I think I'll probably keep half of it at least and some of it will get decluttered soon but I'm not decluttering anytime soon yet. Anyway so now I'm just going to take this on but here is my Astralis haul. Now I got very confused when this box rocked up because it says Heritage Browns. Brands? Heritage Brands? Who's that? Doesn't they say it was and then I was like what? There was some packing in here and then we just had some stuff. So I picked up the makeup finishing spritz matte spray i'm curious to try some more sprays the new girl boss P glow and prime stick i'm curious to see well like how it goes what it is i'm very excited about this but i got the stampy thing for your eyeliner i'm going to play with this very soon so the stamp it wing it liner from Australis. They've just released it. This is very exciting. I picked up one of their metallics eyeshadow. So metallics. I was curious to try this to like in comparison to the Colourpop stuff I have. So I just put it there. Yeah. Hmm. This is a bit of a wet feeling one. Curious. Curious and curious. I got some Australis singles. I'm sorry, if you're not from here, yeah, so Australis is very much an Australian brand. 
And they're one of our drugstore brands. Pretty sure I can confidently say that. So they're quite relatively affordable. So being half price, this is very affordable. And I bought more from them than I've ever bought. All right, so looking at the pans, we've just got them here. There's actually nothing written on the back. Purple Haze. Shade here. Moss. It's a nice green. And double dinner. Hmm. Alright. Well, I'm keen to give these all a play and see how they go. And I also picked up one of the lip metallic lip creams. Matte lip cream. Pun of lips. Just seemed like a fun shade. It seemed like something fun. Ooh. Anyway, thank you so much if you stuck around for the Australis portion of this ver of this. Oh, thank you so much if you stuck around for the Australis portion of this video. I really appreciate you. I think you're amazing. <laughs> I'm so tired, but we've still got to open the Beautylish bag. The Beautylish bag because, like, I'm not. Oh, I I need to know what's in it. I just absolutely do. Anyway, if you liked what you saw today, if you love unboxings, if you're curious about the Suva mystery bag and the Jeffree Star mystery bag, stay tuned because someone bought them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon with the Beautylish bag. Mwah. Um, I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah. Thank you.